Hey guys, MTDH here, and welcome back to the Pac-Man World Repack 100% no damage, no flutter jump, no pack dot attack run. And last time, we basically called the G7 against the ghost to defeat the HMS Windback. So we sink their battleship. Yes! That means the third boss is out of the way. But rest assured that the other bosses will be harder. And but at least we cleared out the pirate ship area. Let's see how the Puka is holding up. Pac-Man will go to any lengths to beat you, Pac-Man. Be careful. Of course he will. So now we need to head to the next area, which is marked by the sign pointing to the last room. This is the ruins area. And here's the teleporter. It's just for convenience, really, and I can tell you that. I just know there's something significant about this location. But we have to go through the rest of this area first. And we're going to start off with 2-1, Crisis Cavern, which just has a mm, Galaxian door and Pac-Man ladder, so yeah. Let's get going. This shouldn't be too bad, it's just, well, we gotta watch out for fire falling in our heads, don't we? So, we start off with this new enemy, the Neander Pack. The Neander Pack is capable of chasing us, and eventually he will jump at us and try to bash our head in, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, buddy, it, even combat has evolved since the Stone Age. You might want to consider upgrading your cloud to something a little more shiny, full of fight. Anyway, we came up here to get this apple and a slot coin for what the ladders were. You might notice those great flanks. Those flanks are rickety, so if you... If you walk on them or anything like that... Mm -hmm. They will crumble beneath your feet. Like so. And I am also fell off there and thought there were the rickety flank still in the inter. So opening the door with the handle door allows us to hit the switch that leads to the pack that chain that leads to the layer P. One down, five more to go, and we got a checkpoint. Oh, hey! Pac-Man's mere existence does light in places like Get It Flare. Yes, he brings light to Get It Flare. Just by existing. Oh, and these are spiders. Yes, simply called spiders. They, they will chase you down and lunge you if given a chance, but they're not difficult to deal with. You might notice that the, these are actually switches that can, can have variable effects, but these particular switches and some more to come have that have boulders come down on us, but they can crumble once they crash on the ground. But of course, they can still crash onto you in the first place. So, but at least we don't have to worry about any Indiana don't don't suddenly escape. Yeah. But we came all this way to get the peach. So we can open this door, bring down the elevator that we needed to break the barricade, and reach like that difficult. A spider coming down from the ceiling. And... Huh? Just gotta be not watched. More rickety coins, but we're not going to be here for long anyway. And we get the letter A for our troubles. So now we need to hit and keep going forward. Checkpoint, and we have to worry about the flying lava rocks that simply move to the, the burned locations on the ground. 
Hi, Ghost. I see you have updated your head here. Mine style, right? We need to break this treasure chest to get the strawberry, and we need the strawberry to open that strawberry door you may have noticed earlier. Here we go. The chain earned ends before getting another power pallet that ends the chain and we won't get the completed method for defeating all of the ghosts. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, some platforming that gets added by the power pallet effect. But I want to demonstrate that I don't need it. But. So yeah, that perception can be a pain, and so can the controls, uh, and so can the camera messing with our controls. So gotta be careful when advancing, because you might see that tile. When we go near it, yeah, a stalactite falls from above, and it actually respawns after a few seconds, so... We don't we want to make sure that we can slip past. And you might notice this piece of ground, yeah, it just falls out. This heli invader is actually pointless, I will showcase it. Well, it's not entirely pointless. <sighs> yeah, it would make dealing with that spider ambush a lot easier because you can... Yeah, the spiders really enjoy the dark, don't they? Yeah. The heli these elevators that bring up the platforms, they're not entirely useless even though there's nothing below the heli the planks. They do, however, allow us to get around ambushes by pesky spiders. I'm just being mindful about the about the freaking Stalactites, yeah, yeah, stalactites, not stalagmites, yeah. Stalactites, you, you can tell which is which by the middle letter. The T for the top of T for ground or M for the. Uh, well, anyway. Lactites are anti air, so by their very nature. Whoa! I'm glad I noticed that just in time. And I'm glad I noticed you too. Just rushing through the mess of tiles indicating that stalactites. Checkpoint. Just getting rid of the nonsense with the Neander packs. <sighs> that gate's useless right now. Not for long, though. <coughs> 
we have a one switch. The two switch is down there, but this allows the elevator to spawn and allow us to reach the second A. The two switch will reverse the elevator, of course, so that we can get back up. Power grip can, can kill your foot bounce chain. Wanting to snipe out the Neander pack with the roll, rev roll. Then we're wanting to grab the leaf banana. Deal with what's at the top of this climb. More boulders. Go away. Fighter coming down. <coughs> yeah, we need to get up here with the banana to open it. Mm, opening in, in the water. This is a strategy that we want a strategy. This is a portion that we, we want a strategy for. Because there's a couple of puffer fish that, that that can be a problematic to deal with. To slip past. Yeah, we have no choice but to slip past them as well, so. Yeah, uh, the first, the second one thankfully is low on the, is thankfully low, but the first one, yeah, I, I had to fade it out and wait for it to deflate and slip past while it deflated. Came down here to get the Galaxian icon. I don't think we need a Okay. With the Galaxian flagship, we can now handle the maze. But you might notice the uh, dark spots. Those are where stalactites will. Or not stalactites. Sorry. Thank you for the half elite immunity. I'm going to have to thread the ghost again though. Uh, that is it. I think he has to cooperate. Dangerous areas. And that, that deals with all, all that mess. Yeah, I'm not chanting it. I'm just going to grab the two dogs and get out of here. Clear! <sighs> yeah, that was scary to say the least. Now this switch has a different effect. You might see that spike block. When we press it, yeah, the spike block can start rolling back and forth. Oh god. Oh, 
the thing Pac-Man is mm, sorting that thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I imagine he would. I imagine if he ever decided to crouch, it would be to be able to walk back and suddenly. It, it, that sort of maneuver would be helpful against characters like Ben and if he were to ever they, get involved in an all-star encounter against them. Yeah, we, we took care of the itty bitty spider or itty bitty metallic spider. I, can't believe it. I was not expecting to find me metallic. Thankfully, the melon's right here. Gotta be watchful. These are traps. And we got the letter N. Now all we need to do is get out the this level. I don't get hit there, but that's the nature of traps for you. Oh, I was expecting another bolter, but thankfully I didn't get hit by the, by the ooh, 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 swinging log. Nice, we made it to the Talkman statue. Bonus stage! And we don't have to worry about getting hit here either. We can take either the left path or the right path. They both involve the same concept I'm letting you know right now. They just involve us bouncing from trampoline to trampoline. Repeat the pattern for the other side. Clear! <clears throat> so, Prize's Cavern is a nice uh, world to stage. I think it's a little standard fair about being a world. a first world to stage, but. Traps is getting involved. Things are getting a little more heated up now. That's for sure. And things will only get even more difficult and serve that too. Ah, I fell as high up 40,000 points. <sighs> so, yeah. That's the first part of the room. So, yeah. Can't handle. Next will be the Manic Minds episode, which, will, which we've unlocked in. Boy, there's. Quite a bit of level to go through with that, but until then, next time, yeah, we will be handling things there, with, yeah, there will be quite a bit to worry about. So until then, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day. MKD8, out.